What up, it's your boy Naftastic, and welcome back to another episode of my Stain series. Today, I thought I'd do a quick rundown, sort of summation of the current state of affairs at Stains. Um, we've obviously been promoted to League Two, as I've said countless number of times now, and it still hasn't hit me. But here's the squad. Um, we brought in a couple of like major players, like Quintero and Bombi, and massive coots. Um, got Danny Higginbottom, who's going to play a key part. Uh, Andy Griffin again, similar, he's going to be important for us. Um, and we brought in some experience in Edgar Davids too. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking into the loan market after the suggestion, so that's something to look out for in future episodes. But right now, the squad's looking pretty healthy, I have to say. I mean, compared to where it was at the start of the summer, where we, struggled, we were really struggling to bring people in. Um, but there are still areas of improvement. I would like a striker maybe. Um I can send you can't do it all. And um there is gonna be quite a jump for him. The standard of defending is gonna be a lot better. So it will be a challenge. But it's to be seen how we get on. I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's just uh have a quick look at a few other bits and bobs. So start with the tactics. This is our sort of set way. Like this. Most of our games like this, four two three one. I do have a four four two as an alternative. But we rarely turn to that. Um, I like my five-man midfield for this team. Um, again, the training focus has been generally quite balanced. That's because in the past, they are a part-time outfit. They were semi-professional, so there wasn't much for opportunity for niche training. But as we get promoted into the Football League, everyone's a bit more full-time. So we'll try and add some more technical, more niche training to make it a bit more focused and improved improve their basic attributes on each individual skill. We'll see how it goes. Well, here's an overview. Obviously, you can see the past couple of years has been a massive jump up compared to where we have been in the past. Um, and the transfer history is actually one that looks quite favourable if you just look at the pure like transfer fees. I think in the total like two years that I've been in charge, I spent a net of 4k. Considering we've been promoted twice, that's massive. Three times have played a part, but obviously there's a lot of misses as well as hits in there. I mean, that's probably where you have to like use your your skill in the lower leagues in the conference. Free transfers will be huge, but now we're in a much higher standard of league. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be really tough. So we'll have to sort of delve into the loan market and see if we can bring in more, more quality players. Here's a trophy cabinet. Not much in there. We've got two playoff wins, uh, but they don't show up. We do have an FA trophy, which is mine. And the Ismians one is not mine, so we want to try and bolster that. We'll see how we do. We've got South End next as our first game, as you can see. That's not too bad. Um, But yeah, it's um, it's been an interesting journey hope it continues I'm looking to just sort of take the se first season as a, a way of consolidating our place in the football league just trying to avoid relegation that's the main aim of this year and from then on we can really build on it and see where we can go but apart from that look forward to the season and I'll um, catch you all in the next episode when we kick things off all right now bye bye now